Hi, my name is Steve Fulton and welcome to Real Magic Review and this is Isolated by Mr. Schwen and Sky Member. Before we have a very nice time talking about this, uh, please do like and subscribe, check out Card Magic Course, learn from a pro if, if you, if you uh, want to learn from me and you like this review show, you will love my online card magic course, which is huge and growing by the month. That's what it is. So have a look at that. And uh, if you want to test it out, do check out my free course on the spread color, in-depth course on the spread color. I've created some new footage for that. And you can have that at cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull, C-U-L-L. There you go. And uh, do the when you subscribe, do the notifications thing, the little bell icon. Then you'll be able to see when I've posted and when also I go live, which is Thursday evenings currently, at time of recording at 5 o'clock UK and most Mondays as well at 5 o'clock UK. So comment below, ask questions, and a lot of them will be answered in the live sessions. Come along and hang out. It's lots of fun. Right. Uh, now, I, I haven't got anything, anything from Sky Member for a long time. I remember getting Anarchy by Ryan Go, and I... Um, it was kind of okay, but it was, man, it was fiddly. It was a lot of work. There was a lot of work for a nice routine, but it just, it was too much. It was too much to do. Um, and that's not laziness. That's just kind of, if you get a gaff deck, or the point of a gaff deck for me is to kind of have to do less and give you that safety net. It's been designed with an inch of, within an inch of its life and it looks lovely. Um, so I kind of went, okay, well, let's have a look at it. They put a bit, a bit of effort into that. And actually... I don't know why I wasn't expecting much from it. it it's, it, I like it, you know. It, it, I've got reservations about it. So the effect, it's a forcing deck basically, but importantly, what you do, you, you spread the cards and show them all mixed, uh, and then you can actually shuffle them, genuinely shuffle them, and doing any card at any number, that's the, what they call the basic effect on here. And I actually think it's what, what actually both effects are pretty good. Um, there's, there's actually three effects on here, but they're, they're, they're all pretty good, actually. They're, they're nice. So the, the first one isn't any card at any number, and uh, it's very, very clean. All right? You do spread the cards face up, and it's really fair. You spread them face down, they push anyone out, you lift it up, you show it to them very cleanly, they put it in the deck um, anywhere they like, and again, you can shuffle them again, and they give you the number, and you count down to it, and there's a the card. That's good, isn't it? That's really, really clean. Uh, really easy to follow and kind of what you want a gaff deck for really to kind of smooth out those edges the second effect i also really liked it does involve dealing out six decks of, you know dealing out six piles so you might think quite oh, a bit boring but very very clean and then you they keep choosing a deck you keep eliminating keep eliminating and they're down to one card and that's their card and it it's it sounds like a lot of process but i think this stuff can play really well because there's no equivoke on this it's it says it's, it's it's properly fair choices, so they can change their mind. There's also a version with a dice, which I really like, uh, which I think can play really strong in parlor. Again, if you can perform it, you've got a, there's a lot of time, but there's a lot of opportunity there for filling uh, with with humour or tension. I can imagine it being done on stage with one light on the table and making it really like there's lots of consequence for kind of getting the card. Uh, so that's great, and then the stage version. They call it the stage version. I don't really know why it's it's, it's very similar, but it's um, the one that uses a dice. I have this idea of you win the prize if you get the card at the end. So that's great, and then there's this um, open prediction. Now the open prediction's good, uh, similar kind of thing, but you 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 have to know a Mexican turnover. So again, if you're going to use a gaff deck and you're going to do slights that are quite difficult, I start then thinking, well, if you're going to start using slights, you can kind of get over a lot of this stuff but anyway so you've got three really strong effects and when you see the gaff deck you're going to go well surely that's and i'm sure i have checked this out and i don't i thought is this something like that is just the same as loads of other stuff it has similarities to other things that i've seen but i think it's actually really nice it has so it's a gaff deck but it has a convincer built into it which means that it's not there is an element of risk and an element of audience management required. I don't think it's a huge risk, but it 
when you first see it, you go, is this 100%? And you realise it is, if you know a few ways around it that aren't really going to weaken it, but you've got to keep an eye on a few things. That's all I'll say. And when I first saw that, I kind of went, oh, that's really... And then I went, no, I kind of get what they've done. It. They've put this thing to up the risk level, but make it more convincing. I do wonder whether you could lose the risk completely and with lay people would it matter i think for magicians it's kind of a magician fool of this when you show certain things it's it i think it could fool a lot of magicians but i think it, it definitely plays strong for lay people it's not that it doesn't play strong for them but i wonder if they just got rid of made it 100 percent whether it would be um just as strong because there's certain things i've used that are similar that do that but it's a it's a really fair clean trick and, and as they say on the download the extensive download <laughs> Um, it's once you know it you can do a lot with it and I think that's true and they said that at the beginning I thought yeah I bet you can I bet you're going to do two things and, but I think that there is it's, there's a utility thing there's a lot there's a lot to be um, done with this the download is long man I do wish they'd stop doing like there's hours of it <laughs> it felt like hours of it now I would rather it be too long than too short that's a good thing um, but I just felt maybe it's because I have to watch a lot of downloads that I felt by the end of it I was like it's kind of you know, you can just tighten this up a bit, stick it in 40 minutes, but it ends up being about an hour and 20 minutes, 25 minutes with both parts. But with that, there are some really nice subtleties and important points in it. The one thing they did miss out of it, and I don't think it's just me. So you have, there's a bit of a setup in it, not much, but you you have to get it into the setup and they don't actually go into detail with that they kind of go right we've shown you the setup they don't say those exact words but they go but i was like no you haven't you haven't shown me the proper setup uh so it could have been done with a few more close-ups on there so you just get it into the situation you can kind of work it out it's fine but it but i think they've they've lost a bit of footage or something like that but other than that very very detailed and again you can always go through fast forward it can't you there's, there's some nice ideas in it um where to take it next there's a thing with a gambling shoe you know the dealing shoes that you get in casinos that you can use to make it look really fair for maybe parlor or stage there's a lovely dual reality idea actually uh, that you can use and there's a they, they include this gimmick the one gaff card that you can do make it look like the kind of the card is melting away which is fine i think it's a bit of a token gesture really don't think it's needed the truth the trick's good enough the routine's good enough without that uh, the Issues with it are it's it's with one card you can't really repeat it. Um, you, know, you can go table to table, but it's there's one card going on. That's that's what's going to end up happening. So, but that I've got no problem with that. I'm happy not to do the same trick at every table anyway. They're not going to be able to look at the deck. Uh, and again, not a major problem for me. But I know some people um, have an issue with that, and that's fine. So, but then it's kind of balanced out by the. the feel of it you know they can handle the deck quite a lot again with a bit of management they can shuffle the cards again with a bit of management but that's but that's fine and I think it it you know there's always a payoff isn't there but I think it's good I don't think I, I thought I was going to be disappointed I think because of anarchy which as I said um and I, I think there's a lot to be said for this I think it's a nice idea and there's a lot to be done with it so that's isolated by Mr Schwan and Sky member do uh, check out the links below. Thank you to Murphy's Magic for sending this to me. It's always very much appreciated. It appreciated, so I can uh, so I can actually review the stuff. And uh, do check out that free course on the spread call, which is cardmagiccourse.com forward slash call, or just go to the Card Magic Course page to check out what it's all about. Anyway, it's, I'm very proud of it. It's very cool. Like and subscribe. Do all the good stuff, and have a great one. Cheers.